What's up guys, BK here, bring you another more recap. Oh, what's that? You guys can see me? That's because I chose to enable my camera because some of you are wondering like, what, how do you record these things? Well, I'm recording on this, all these, in fact, all my streams on actually on the phones. Um, I'm using the Axon 7 by ZTE. So this phone's really powerful. In fact, I think it beats every flagship phone out there and it's really cheap. So. First time it's camera, so I'm not really shy about it. But let's just talk about this award. Well, we didn't come in, we did not come in with a win, but we did come in with like a injury, really injury heavy clan. <coughs> well, not that heavy, but you know, we're still, we still did the best I could here. So type out two. Is it, what, what is this phrase? Like triple ring base? Is it coming with a one quake in the middle to kind of soften things up? Um, golem, two golems on the bottom, along with some bowlers, kind of trying to trim everything on the side so the rest of the troops can go in. Uh, hey, rage spell dropped right away. Um, the eagle tower is being fired. Um, they, I don't know how things are looking. Uh, <laughs> Actually, warrior building being used if they already got the rest of the troops in into the middle due to the jump spell and they're gonna deviate. All the troops gonna deviate outside. So Eagle Terry gets taken care of uh King active his ability. You see these troops come out, they can get real soon, really soon, really fast. Um the king is kinda smacking on the water, the water is going down. So he dropped he's kinda trimming on the outside edges here. So he drops like what? Oh, all these baby dragons go in. Oh, that's that's really smart. So instead of the uh, miners here, here we have he's bringing in a lot of baby dragons with a rage here to kind of trim, to kind of taking care of the town hall, making sure the two stars in the back. So even though without the single single rage here, they they were still able to take take care of business due to the rage spell here. So uh, here he's just trying to pick up percentage so we can just skip out because I got lots of replay to show you guys. Well, hopefully. So next up we have a guy, uh, number two. <coughs> Going on this base, looks like massive bowlers plus three valves and two kill. I wonder what he's gonna do. So it's gonna come in the bottom. You can see it, let me bring that up. Um, wood golems and giant. Plus another giant coming on the other no, on the opposite side here, going to work through the uh, the tough uh, gold storage with the wall breakers going. No jump spell being used. Um, now he's going to launch all the balls into the middle, right through where the queen is. The queen is going to go down, dropping the heroes now. Rage spell, jump spell, CC CC troops coming out, being taken care of by the point of the spell. Eagle Terry goes down, Queen goes down. Now all the troops are being in the center. Two stars being practically in the back. Warrior build being used because there's this too much DPS coming in the way. The, oh yeah, maybe it, all, the rage stuff being dropped, so they're gonna rip the hole through the middle, and all the uh, all the basically the important defense is being taken down. So now, well, even with the ability, he still lost a bunch of his troops. So. There's just not much that he can do about it. Um, I think, well, yeah, the rest are just percentage points. He, do, he does have like one healer kind of trying to heal his queen back up. And the queen is still is slowly being healed back up. He's not dropping the clean out minions here. I mean, this raid could have gone either way. Um, had his, I think, had his queen being like full health and everything. We'll see if you have like a, maybe like a, uh, I mean, it's tough to say. I mean, like, we need one more healer with a couple wizards, but yeah, so the rest is just really key. Let's we'll, we'll just fast forward to this. Um, so yeah, the heroes are going to be healed back up, but it's going to be, uh, I, maybe he activate the ability too early, but maybe just get him, get the warden off of it. Like the warden is just out of range. The warden statue takes out the takes out the warden, and he loses the healer. So that's gonna be big. I mean, he would he could use the building here to get a few more buildings. I feel, but still, really good job. Um, we have our guy Tooth again. This is actually Tooth's media account. 
This is a Tiaho 9.5. So, <coughs> Camille this space what he, what he knows the best, which is just golden, uh, golden hogs and assume gonna be bowlers in his eye. So, he's gonna come in here on the bottom, dropping two golden straight straight and cleaning up the trash field based on the outside per perimeter with uh, minions. As we drop bowlers, the bowlers are like, really key here. Jump spells kind of lead everything to the middle. That's a really nice place jump spell if I can say. Race spell, uh, poison spell, everything being used um, kind of try taking care of the queen, CC troops and all the heroes. Uh, rip, basically ripping it through, ripping through holes in the middle while keeping everyone alive. See, the bowlers are all still alive. That's what this strategy is so valuable here. See the hogs still going there, he's just tricking the hogs. Now double giant bombs here, the, the hogs survived double giant bombs. So it's not even a threat anymore, actually. He does not kill any more bombs right now. He's got one more heal spell to you, which he choose to drop due to the uh, wizard tower, all the all the point defense over there. He wants to heal his uh, hogs back up, and he lost a bunch of bunch of hogs due to a spring trap over there. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's good. The hogs are gonna make it actually. Due to, uh, yeah, he just lost too many of them. Yeah, plus a well placed stream trap. These guys have got really nice stream traps here. Um, yeah, the, so the hogs never make it, but never worry. He's got a level 30 queen with the built-in unused. And plus the mini on the side to work on the side buildings. And it's gonna get taken down fairly quickly. Yeah, here, come, here comes the queen. The queen's actually gonna take out all the uh, the buildings for him. For him, kind of close call, but he gets the job done. So good job. Let's fast forward through this now. Okay, let's just back out. Hawkbuster, well, oh, this is kind of sad. Our number twenty-three actually come up and hit the number seven for one star. Just looting, I guess. Um, yeah, we didn't re actually really take care of like the tail hall night business. Here's a uh, one of the engineering bases. Um, two didn't get that. Oh, two didn't get that one three star. So I guess I don't have a lot of good one to show you guys. But <coughs> here's the tech by Amy. Amy is a night point five. It's just so this base is also night point five. So I can show you guys. Now she does like queen walk will do all the time so it's really really a viable strategy here and he's gonna come in with the top with five healers five healers right now i mean if you guys uh don't know the update the, the air trap kind of triggers the the healer kind of triggers the air trap now so five healers is probably not an overkill right now usually you can get away with just four but so here's got in with too many uh, point defense here so you choose Choose to use a police ability. Um, you, you, can, you can go either way. I mean, I will. And, and then this spell, rich spell being used. I'm uh, not sure. Not sure about that. But he comes to wall breaking. So wall breaking is break into this compartment. Uh, the queen, or uh, the key, kind of uh, make sure the king, the, the the queen goes into the hero's compartment. Gonna take care of the other. Uh, uh, air defense over there. The queen, the king, and the queen is already going to smack down, the, smack down the queen in there. So it is going to be a balloon and a hound in there. So the king is going to go in there and try to take care of everything. The king should probably have to activate his ability right now while the queen kind of focus fire on the hound. I don't think the CT balloon is going to get taken down. Um, he just run out of the. Uh, oh, this is actually really dangerous for the queen. The queen is probably going to go down. You see all the hounds going to be fired up, but he's going to launch, launch his hound nevertheless. Yeah, the queen goes down. There's just too many hounds for the queen to handle. So, but nevertheless, I mean, he's got, uh, he's launching his level of three hounds, counterclock, I mean, clockwise around the space. It helps, it really helps that the uh, expo is being targeted to the ground. So he's, she's able to um, have, a, have a nicer time easier time i guess cleaning up uh going through the space i mean look at how many balloons she has left on the sky i don't think there's still one how hasn't exploded right uh no actually all the hell gets exploded okay so 
yeah, so the rest are just really just cleaning up down. I mean, the healer here, the healer down, not doing anything now. I mean, the queen are just dancing along here. So, <coughs> still a really nice job by him, by her. Got to make sure my my head's not pointing to the right direction. I mean, these, um, uh, they're so painful. We didn't, we didn't really do a good job at the Tianhe Night Base, so since we got, uh, actually, King, I think it's one of our Tianhe 10, we got one engineering base, guys, we got one engineering base, so it's probably our, not our best war, I mean, we could use a lot more clean up here, I mean, I think this is Tianhe 8, no, this is still Tianhe Night, so it looks like we, uh, we still got one more, uh, good, let me show you guys, maybe? It's a town hall nine and our guy here is gonna come in, Bob. Looks like a where, where's that at? Okay, so it's gonna come in with a queen walk with three healers. Not sure oh, I'm sure not sure about that. And then he's coming with uh, three more healers on the bottom. So what is this? What is this? Like a queen a witch walk? I'm sure the I'm sure the uh, the goat here is kind of turning up the defense on the outside, so rest of the rest of the can go inside with the bowlers. So it's gonna be a queen walk, uh, go bowie, go which which with, with the with the which emphasis. So the bowl is gonna go to the middle, ripping the hole, uh, jump stuff being used. Redirect everything to the middle, um, rage everything up. Now the queen is really kind of really nice. You can see you can see the queen and the witch kind of kind of working on the uh, the opposite in here, while the rest of the kill squad taking care of business on the inside. So it's kind of you know it's kind of kind of doing it like a line fashion. They just kind of push it all together, except the witch here could be used a lot could use a lot more DPS because they're just not doing. It. That much DPS to the to, to the uh, structures on the inside because they don't have a skeleton going to the inside. But the queen is going around the base here. And the gold will trigger the giant the giant uh, the two giant bombs here. The bowlers are just now going down. He does lost the bowlers. Um well, he's got a couple more bowlers here. Which wow, okay, so the queen is gonna survive. The bowlers are gonna survive, and the witch kinda Infinitely keeping keeping busy here, while they take it down, taking care of all the all the uh, <coughs> all the defense down there. I mean, if they buff the buff the witch any more further, she could be overpowered. But still, this really really nice attack stretch by Bob, kind of breaking away from our traditional uh, Valk stretch here, which they all use a lot. Which I need, to, I probably need to like change out my strategy too. But uh, I don't know what to show. You have a Tell Hall, still Tell Hall line action. Uh, is this same strategy? No, is it gonna come in with a Go Val We? This could be a Go 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 Val We Bow or something. If the, if the um, what's in the CC is the bowlers. So it's kind of quick through the middle, opens up pretty much all the compartments. I mean, look at the percentage of compartments you see. Uh, she's able to be opened up. So Nancy here, um, go go knee drop down. He'll be drop down. Wall breakers coming in, break it through the middle, which successfully break through break through the middle, which is being dropped. The couple, yes, it is going to be a go bow bow God, these strategies, man. I I assure. Rage spell being used. There are no uh, poison spell being used. Oh uh, man, the Valk's probably gonna get roasted, but not before uh, the heal spell being dropped. The one, the one uh, balloon doing absolute work on the on the uh, Valks there. I mean, look at look at the another Valk he lost. He's a one uh, one balloon, but he still got a um, red uh, majority. His important troops on the outside on the left. And the witch is kind of in the middle, distracting defense center, but it got focused down by the uh, by the expo over there, which is not good at all. And it's just it's too close to expo, so 
he, her days are numbered, and last year she's gonna be dropping here because they're going in the compartments. Um, the queen and the king and queen are gonna catch up, and the rest of the valves can catch up. Yeah, this is, she's just gonna swipe through the base in a clockwise uh, motion here. So yeah, pretty much this base is cooked. Um, still, really, really nice job here. I think we're actually outnumbered on the uh, uh, Town Hall 2. I mean, you can see our, our 27, their 27 is still a Town Hall 9. If we go look at our 27 here, our 27 is a Town Hall 8. A kind of weak Town Hall 8, if I may say. So, this really, we were outnumbered by Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 11s and even Town Hall 10. So, it's really just an unfair match on our end. I would, you know, I was, I would say that, I would say. Plus, their number thirty, their number thirty is a Tell Hall eleven engineering base. Well, what's what is number our number thirty? Our number thirty is, you know, a Tell Hall seven. So, the weight, the weight is so unfair. It's not even funny. I mean. How can this be matched? How can we ma match up with, you know, their engineering bases? I mean, this is just way too much difference. Again, Town Hall 7 base, look at the walls and, you know, the defense and everything against their 30. Their 30, this is just, you know, difference. I mean, oh, our Zeus actually be able to 3 star this base. <coughs> Come on, level 10 walls! Jesus, man. That level 5 key isn't gonna do crap. It's not gonna even gonna even break through the walls. I mean, sure he's got like, what is that? Like, I don't, I don't know what, like level 2 Archer Tower, but 35 Queen and 20 King. Jesus, man. I feel like I should just mock out the slap this guy in the face. But he was, he was able to uh, clean the space up with the like, dragon attack. The way the defense is kind of low, level 2, level 3. That's what made this uh, raid possible. Even though with level 2 dragons, so suck up that. I mean, look. Yeah. So, it's so nice he was able to take this out, kind of relieve the kind of stress on the top, but this is really not fair. So, our upcoming war here. Um, I think we're a little bit of easier. I mean, we're, we're pretty even match. We did uh, get one more. I think the Town Hall 7 is like a legit Town Hall. Unlike me, I still haven't built my Infernal Tower, right? so I'm maybe engineering, engineering, so. So, I don't know, we still got our work cut up for us. So, that's it for this recap. And first time showing a camera. Hopefully, if you guys don't mind me in the face, I'll show you this one more. It's not that one I want to show you, but you know, sometimes on my hand like here, gets in the way. <laughs> so okay that's it for this recap and i'll see you guys next time peace out